Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another personal transport ship, and this one, if you have not seen it already, is called the Hermes Personal Shuttle, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on top of. So this is a small block ship where my character can just bugger off for a second. There we go. Yes, this is a small block ship in a very clean overall design, featuring both atmospheric and hydrogen thrusters. We've got AI blocks on here so we can set up, go to a specific location so we don't have to lift a finger when we're traveling back to your base. We've got camera fours and backwards, we've got connected to docker up, and then onto the side here we've got some fancy buttons which you can activate an SOS system or to switch your hydrogen tanks to stockpile if that's what we want to do. So there's no need for you to hop into the cockpit, we just come onto the side button, hit number one, and start draining out all the hydrogen from your base into the ship. Anyway, back all the way over to here, pressing F10, finding it in the spawn menu, we'll go through here, have a look around the outside, go for the controls, then we'll fly around for a bit, then after that, to finish it off, we're going to fly down to the planet with the deadly re-entry mod turned on, and watch it get burned up, and we'll reduce to nothingness. So the Hermes Personal Shuttle is 318 small blocks, using the decorative block number 3, automatons, decorative block number 2, signals, warfare 2, and heavy entry DLC packs. We can see up to here there is survival ready, it uses no subgrids, it's unmodded, and then down to here is the specification of what it has, and of course what it could do with a little bit of lore to give it a bit of flavour. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we run towards the very front, and we'll just go around the outside, like I said. So over to here for the very front of the Hermes, this is what we get, and that's a lone hydrogen thruster to slow this thing down, surrounded by some grey and white steel blocks. Until we come up to this section, we've got some window blocks to help protect up some of our important internals, as well as give extra protection to your cockpit. So if you are taking some shots from the front, it should take a fair bit of time for actually reach this cockpit and will eject you out. Pulling back to the front, move around onto the side. There we go, not too much to talk about on that section. Then over to here, we've got ourselves a green flashing light. Then the opposite, of course, will be a red flashing light. Get a bit closer look underneath here. There we go. So we've got ourselves a sound block, just adding us a bit of extra decoration. And over there, we can see some hydrogen tanks. Onto the back here, we can see a couple of hydrogen thrusters help boost us around in all directions. Some armored panels, some heavy armored panels, which has got the disco skin attached onto them, to make them look like small fake solar panels. Around towards the road back there, there is our connector, there's our reverse facing camera. And all the way down, I need this thing, turning on my light, here we go. So there's our atmospheric thrusters, got our flat ones, one on both sides, with an O2 HU generator right in the middle, connected up to that connector, within hydrogen tanks on both sides. Over in this section, we then got an air vent to suck an ocean from surrounding areas to quickly refill up your tanks. Over here is an access panel for you to play around with. There's the bottom of our cockpit. Then towards the front there, we've got a little layer block just for a bit of decoration. All the way up and looking down this thing. There we go, there's the front of the cockpit. Looking down through the glass, we can see two gyroscopes. We've got a remote control block. And then, of course, another hydrogen tank with an interior light sitting right on top of it, right at the very front. Over here, these should then be your programmable blocks. So here's one over here. Then to the opposite side, there we go, so we can see ourselves the artificial horizon script just twiddling around there with its fancy animation. Then putting out this and come back to the very top, wherever that's gone, that's the very bottom, here we are. And all the way across, there's the top of our cap cockpit, now this caught me off guard when I first looked at this, because looking for the spawn menu, or the item menu, looking for something that represents this block, so it's like there's no such thing as a hatch in this game just yet. But no, it's the top of the cockpit, we simply click on that and hop inside. Right away in front of that, we then got an LCD screen saying, pull to release hatch. And put it away from there. There's another top mount camera to view forwards. There's our warfare battery. There's the top of our OG HG generator with some armor panels on the top of it. And over here, we've got ourselves a console block. This one displaying some very important stuff about our power and our hydrogen. So we see exactly how much is in here from the outside of the ship, but needing to go into the cockpits. To the opposite side of it, as we already saw. Then we've got our buttons to well, stop our hydrogen tanks. Then our SOS beacon, they'll just flash out and hopefully someone can come to your aid in an emergency. Anyway, towards the back, there's your rear facing camera, there's a strip of hazard skin on our conveyor frame, and of course there's our fake solar panels, which is the disco skin on some heavy armoured panels. And with that, that's pretty much it for the outside, for the Hermes personal shuttle, it looks bloody fantastic has been set up, it's very clean, very sleek with its overall design, and because this is survival ready, it means you can build this up and use it to fly from the earth like planet into space, and over to your space station, if that's what you want to do. Yes, without further ado, grabbing hold of my character, coming over to that button panel on the side there, bringing up the HUD, ignoring the little text that appeared on the side of the screen. And over here, here we go, so we've got ourselves our toggle hydrogen tank, just toggle that, there we go, all the hydrogen thrusters turn off, turning it back on, and over here, we've then got our SOS beacon, we're turning that on, and there we go, our beacon is now turned on, and it now says Hermes Shuttle SOS, which should be seen from quite a distance. 
when we turn that off, coming all the way over to here, getting into the little hatch, getting into the cab cockpit. This is what we get in the first part of view. So there's a lot going off our screens. What we see on the left hand side, our antenna, our beacon on and off, and of course our GPS location. In the middle there, we see our time to stop, our gravity, and our location. Then onto the very right hand side, we've got our power, which is exactly between what we saw on the back of the ship. We've got batteries, power remaining, and if our O2HQ generators are turned on or off. Right at the very front of the ship, right in front of that interior light, we've got another little screen telling us our sort of artificial horizon thing. Completely forget what this one's called. It'll tell you your speed and your acceleration. And all the way up to there, you might be able to make out. It's quite hard to see. We're going to have to use free camera for this one. So all the way into here, all the way down. Where's that screen gone? There it is. And then we can see our mass and our cargo used. And with that, that's that for the inside. So grabbing this once again, bring up the hunt. We've got two controls to go through, but we don't really need to touch tab number two, because that's simply for your batteries to auto recharge, your hydro tag to stop power on and off, your O2HG generator to turn that on and off, then of course your AI blocks, which is up to you whether you want to use them or not. Tab number one, we've got the one for your camera on the left hand side, so we get a good view of what's going on ahead of us. And then we've got number two to turn off your hydrogen thrusters at the front there, so when we move forwards, we won't slow down. Turn it back on, we'll come to a stop. There we go. The number three is going to be to turn on and off your hydrogen thrusters all around the ship, but it won't turn off your atmospheric thrusters, they will still keep twiddling around there and working if you're on a planet. Turn them back on and press it on four, that's all your atmospheric thrusters, turn them off if you don't need them. The number six for your antenna on and off, number seven for your beacon, number eight then for your reverse camera to help dog up, with number nine to lock and lock that connector right there. And that's it for the controls. So now it's time to fly this thing around, and after that we're going to go down to the planet and burn it up in the atmosphere. So moving forwards, here we go. So this thing is not the fastest thing in the world, but it does not have to. It's not a combat ship, it's not a fighter ship or anything like that. So it does not matter, generally at the end of the day, how fast this thing goes. And it appears that there is a meteor shower coming in, which I completely forgot I had turned on because I was trying out a different mod, which was going to create gigantic meteors. But anyway, take my hand off the keyboard. As you can see, we are slowing down at quite a slow rate compared to moving forwards. So we will want to do a wide with this thing to make sure it can stop a lot quicker. There we go. And then once it comes to the stop, we'll move left and right. So moving left, there we go, it's going to be the same as moving backwards. Then moving down, we've got two, so it's a little bit faster. Then moving up, once again, we've got two. But if we're on the planet, we'll be a lot faster, because we've got two more atmospheric thrusters. to go help out with them. Then as for gyroscope controls, move this thing around. Here we go. This thing is, as you expect, from a small ship. We've got plenty of control over this. Just a tiny hint of weight, so it does drag a little bit. But it's still incredibly sensitive when you move this thing around. But not as sensitive as some fire ships tend to go for, but still it's perfectly serviceable for this type of ship. And with that, I believe that is pretty much it for this ship and all it has to offer. It's a fantastic looking ship to use in survival mode if you do want to have a ship just to take from A to B in style. But as for that, I think that's pretty much it for this ship. So grabbing hold of this and moving it slightly closer to the planet. Here we go, we want to be a little bit closer, about here we'll do. Born a bit closer, there we go, we're now zooming all the way past, hiding the HUD tape map. We'll keep the HUD up for the moment. So what you can see is the deadly re-entry mod kicked into action, where on the bottom left, between the speedometer and hot bar, oh god, here we go, we're going to get our heat, that's going to keep going up and up and up, and eventually in the middle of the screen, there we go, we see our heat level is going all the way up, we're now critical heat, and eventually the ship will start to disintegrate, and we'll basically turn into nothing. So there you go, you see the blocks are now being destroyed, oh god, what's happening, I've been ejected out of the ship, the effects have gone, now it's been completely disintegrated, and basically reduced to absolutely nothing, well, nothing will be remaining of the ship. There's our rear hydrogen thrusters, and they will also get disintegrated. But nevertheless, that is it for this video, and what the ship has to offer. In fact, I can spawn a brand new one, just go down with it once again. But where did that ship go? Oh, it's all the way up to there. Yes, as I said, that's all there is for the ship. There will be links to it, scripture below, to start it and play around yourself. I highly recommend you do, because it's a fantastic looking ship. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.